you guys are struggling with the heat and trying to rinse creative color, please pay attention to this video. This is so, so easy. This is the question I get asked all the time. How the heck do you rinse hair cold when it's 110 degrees in Texas in the summer? So here you guys have it. I have literally a backyard sprayer that you would like spray for anything. And I'm adding water to that. Now I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to fill it up with the coldest water that I can as far as the sink is concerned, which is actually really hot. Pretty much all of the ice is going to be melted by the time this bucket is full. You want to fill it all the way up. And then I actually changed out the nozzle on the sprayer so that I have a high higher pressure. You're going to wiggle it around. Make sure that it's nice and cold for your client. It's like the polar bear challenge for their beautiful little heads. And here we go. I'm going to screw this in and make sure that all of the pressure is released. You guys don't make the mistake I did by <laughs> pulling the top off and spraying yourself in the face. And then here is where the magic happens. You're going to have to pump that bucket every single time you run out of water. There's the high pressure. You guys know if you rinse creative color, it's gotta be ice cold and it also has to be high pressure. Or everything is gonna run together. I am not about spending five to six hours on someone's beautiful head of hair. And then going back to the hot water at the shampoo bowl in the summer in Texas and ruining all of my hard work. One thing to note, the colder the water is, the longer you'll have to rinse. So just be really aware of that and warn your clients. Here we have it. I hope that this helps. You guys ask me all the time. So I finally made a video for y'all. And here are our beautiful results. Look at this blend. We didn't lose any color that we wanted. 